And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Temperatures were in the upper 40s and lower 50s, mainly across the upper Midwest, but not too far. St. Louis, Kansas City, they got up to the 70s and near 80 degrees. Now that pretty much states there's a warm front nearby. Temperatures running around 20 degrees or more above average down to the south. But as for us, we were right around the seasonal values for this time of the year, and we were quite spoiled so far, at least for the beginning part of October. Today started off with a lot of sunshine. It was a cool and crisp morning, but then the temperatures did help warm us up with that sunshine out there into the upper 40s and the lower 50s. And also with it, we started to see increasing cloud cover going into the afternoon hours. We've got an area of low pressure down to the south with this warm front boundary extending all the way into the mid Atlantic states and it's along this cold front that there's a severe weather risk ongoing and there is actually some tornado watches in effect. You see how there's lots of rainfall pretty much ongoing across northern Illinois into southern Wisconsin, but to the north we've got an area of high pressure in Canada. That's pretty much keeping the system farther southward, so there could be some light rain showers that scrape across the southern Fox Valley, but most of the activity will be staying south of us. There is enhanced risk for severe weather over parts of the central plains, the southern Midwest, and we do have some tornado watches and even some tornado warnings in effect there. So some folks really having to monitor uh, some of the local affiliates down south. As for us, we've got some quiet cloudy skies, some light rain showers trying to inch their way northward, but it's that dry air coming in out of the northeast that's going to try and keep this rain away from us. Now, it doesn't mean that we can't rule out an isolated rain shower overnight tonight, but for the most part, it'll mainly just be cloudy and also a little windy. Now, as we head into the day for tomorrow, perhaps an isolated rain shower, but then as we get into the afternoon, skies do gradually turn mostly sunny, but wind still howling out of the northeast gusts likely to get upwards about 25, 30 miles per hour. Rainfall of prospects, as you could tell, very minimal chance to deal with any rainfall overnight into tomorrow. So here's the winds as we get into tomorrow morning. As you're heading out the door into the afternoon, we can see about 25 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts coming in off the lake. Now as we head into Thursday, we've got our next weather maker. This one looks to be a better chance to hold on and provide us with some rainfall Thursday into Friday. A slow moving area of low pressure doesn't look to be a huge soaker, but certainly some rain nonetheless. It's 49 outside with a wind out of the east at 12 miles per hour. We are at 45 in Pembine, 49 in Oshkosh, 50 in Sheboygan, 52 in Fond du Lac, and it is 50 currently in Wapaka. Winds coming in out of the northeast right now, anywhere from about 5 to 15 miles per hour, but they should start to pick up just a little bit as we head into the evening hours as we cool off into the lower 40s and some areas probably in the upper 30s. Warmest spots tonight will be along the shoreline. We'll see some gusts upwards about 25 miles per hour. Tomorrow getting up to about 51 starting off cloudy, but then by the afternoon and evening, we'll see more sunshine in there. Winds coming in about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Gust near 30, not out of the question. Getting up to uh, 53 on Tuesday, 57 on Wednesday. Then comes the next chance of rainfall Thursday and Friday. Temperatures remaining in the mid 50s and pretty seasonal to a little bit above average. And that's a look at your forecast. We'll be back after the break.